Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey with Char on this lovely Tuesday. I come to you today with an awesome, awesome recipe I found online and I cannot wait to make it for you. It is blueberry cheesecake with graham cracker crumbs, you guys. What sounds better than that on a hot summer day as we are having today and I'm sure you are in your neck of the woods. So what we're going to do right now, I'm preparing the compote. This is a blueberry compote, it's one cup of blueberries. It is one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice and two and a half tablespoons of sugar. I'm using organic cane sugar. You can choose whatever kind of sweetener you want. I put it on medium low and I'm just going to let these blueberries come to burst where it brings out all that beautiful juice and color and then we're going to cool it off in the fridge and then we're going to add it to the mixture. Okay, so I just wanted to give an update on the ice cream machine I'm going to be using. Today, I'm going to be using my Cuisinart. She's more than 15 years old. She is faithful. Unfortunately, update, I had to take back the beautiful ice cream maker by Drew Barrymore. I was making this ice cream and it stopped right in the middle. So I had to freeze it regular. This recipe is delicious, but I wanted to make it for you. So I had to return it, you guys. Thank God it was still in the bracket of when I can return it. So I'm not happy with that. It's very pretty, it's very cute, but unfortunately it stopped on me. But I did have a um, viewer that told me, be careful with the ones that have a motor at the top. The motor will stop on you faster than when their motor is in the base. The Quiznart stands true. Motor's in the base, and she has been kicking for more than 15 years. Drew Barry's Moore's motor is at the top, and she shut down with the second use. So thank you to the viewer that gave me that advice. I truly do appreciate it. All right, you all, so we're gonna be using the Cuisinart. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you the recipe and I will also link the recipe down below so that you can go to it directly yourself if you are interested, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna wait for these to burst. These are gonna take approximately seven to 10 minutes to burst, okay? So stay tuned. All right, you all, so here we go. All you need is one cup of fresh blueberries, two and a half tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice for the blueberry compote. And then here, cheesecake ice cream is eight ounces of cream cheese soften, which is there. One cup of milk, one cup of heavy whipping cream, one cup of granulated sugar, pinch of salt, one cup of smashed graham crackers. You can mix it with your hand mixer, Put it in the freezer, it'll work just fine. I wanna churn it. I want that creaminess and that slow churn. All right, you all, it's not gonna take that long. I like to let my ice cream go a half a day or a 24, full 24 hours to enjoy it. All right, you all, you can do whatever you want. It depends on the softness you like, okay? Whatever level of softness. So let's get to it. I'm gonna get the bowl and we're gonna start mixing the organic milk and the organic whipping cream. And also I'm gonna add some vanilla. I love adding vanilla to the base of my ice cream. All right, let me stop talking and let's get started. All right, you all, so we have one cup of sugar here. I'm gonna go ahead on and add that sugar. And remember, you can use whatever kind of um, sugar you want. Mommy, can you open this for me while I'm doing this milk? And we have our organic grass-fed milk. You can use whatever kind of beverage. Now, I've never tried this with like almond milk or anything like that, but I'm sure it wouldn't taste bad if you tried it. I just like to shake up everything. And so we're going to add in one cup of milk to the one cup of sugar. One cup of milk all the way up to the top. There we go. One cup of milk. And then we're going to do one cup of heavy whipping cream. Now, I have done this where it's not whole milk. I have done 2% milk and it still comes out just fine. So if you don't want to use whole milk, if you're using cow's milk, you can opt out to use um two percent okay so this is one cup of heavy whipping cream this is very important those clumps are just creams make sure you shake it really really good before you put it in all right so we have one cup of heavy whipping cream there and then mommy's gonna get the salt and in the meantime like i said i don't measure i love vanilla usually it's two tablespoons of vanilla i add in Add in 
a little bit of vanilla. Now, I usually do two tablespoons, y'all. I'm just going to add some vanilla in there. I know y'all might say, girl, that's a lot of vanilla. Listen, do your ice cream the way you want your ice cream done. I like a lot of vanilla as well as my family members. We love vanilla in this family in the base of our ice cream. Okay, so it's just a pinch of salt, which is this right here. Mom is going to do just a quick little pinch of salt. There we go. All I have to do is just mix this and we're gonna play some music so you all don't have to hear this hand mixer, which is by the Pioneer Woman. All right, let's go. <laughs> So now we're going to set this to a side. I will mix it one more time, but I'm going to do the cream cheese. I probably should have done that first, but it doesn't matter. It's still going to come out good. Okay, so let me blend the cream cheese, and then we're going to add it to this mixture, okay? So stay tuned. <music> to do mommy's gonna bring that camera up I'm going to add in I'm going to add in this cream cheese mixture all right you all you want to get it just nicely incorporated because if you go too long you'll start doing whipped cream or you can even start making butter so we don't want to do that okay so now what I'm going to do I'm gonna go in and just make sure that Everything was nicely incorporated. We don't have any clumps or anything like that. And I don't see anything like that. I'll just give it a nice stir. And now we're gonna start the base of the cream mixture and we're going to let it all come together and cream and get cold, so stay tuned. All right, you all, so we have my faithful Quiznart and she is very cold and is ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead on, put her in there just like so. Make sure she's on the base. And we have the paddle here. So let me get her plugged up and we're gonna pour in the mixture as it starts to turn. Stay tuned. All right, you all, she is plugged and ready to go. This is an old model, but faithful. We want to turn her on. She is ready to go, okay? So now as she's turning, mommy's gonna hold this. Hold that just like so, mommy. And there she goes. So she's turning, you guys. So we're going to let her turn until I feel she's getting thicker. All right, you all. So there it goes. That's why I love Old Faithful. You all stay tuned. In the meantime, the compote is coming along. Those blueberries are bursting. Look at that beautiful color. And we're going to have to let this cool down completely before we add it to the mixer. In the meantime, I'm going to crumble up some one cup of graham crackers and set that to a side and all we have to do is just add that to the ice cream all right you all so stay tuned all right you all so i have one little package i have one package of graham crackers here i'm going to smash it and then i'm going to take out one um cup of cracker crumbs and we like to have big crumbs and small the blueberry mixture is done This is the compote. Isn't it beautiful? Almost turns into like blueberry jam. It's so pretty. So we're gonna let this cool off and then I'm gonna have to put it in the fridge a little bit before I add it 
because it should be added when it is completely cooled, okay? All right, you guys, so we're gonna add just a little bit of graham crackers right like there. All right, you all, so we're gonna add in the compote. Mommy's taping for me. Want you all to see that. I'm gonna add all of it in there. So excited, look at this. <gasps> it's gotten even thicker. Okay, so I'm gonna go on and take that out. So we're gonna turn this off. It is so beautiful, mommy. Can you come in here and help me? So mama's gonna come over here and help me as I'm putting this in, or trying to get it out. Come on the other side, mommy. <gasps> it's so beautiful. Look at that color that the cream cheese gave, I mean that the blueberries gave, y'all. That is natural color from the blueberries. Okay, you're gonna hold it just like that. <sighs> yes, just like that, bring it up just a little bit. All right, I'm so excited, you guys. This is so delicious. Look at those blueberries. Oh my goodness, look at the blueberries. That is just beautiful. I see a little bit of the cream cheese, and that's fine, I like little cream cheese bits of mine. And then, it has just enough graham cracker, but I'm gonna put some at the top. I like graham crackers, because it reminds you of blueberry uh, cheesecake. So y'all, this really got cold. <gasps> look at that, oh, that is so pretty. Y'all, I know, she is just too excited. Y'all know how sharp, you've been watching me. When I get excited, mommy can enjoy that because she was a big helper. Okay, so now we're gonna move this over. Nope, you just leave it like that, yep. And we're gonna bring this over. So I think it's so much, I have to put it in this container. So now we're gonna pick this up. You guys, it's so beautiful. It's cold, but it's not as cold. You can tell it was ready to come out. Because if you let it go too long, it'll start getting softened again. If the ice in the container. Y'all, look how beautiful that is. That's okay, so much. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna try to get as much as I can from the bottom. You guys, this is so beautiful. And we're gonna enjoy some of this. And we can taste that. Me and mommy are gonna leave that little bit that's in there that we can taste. This is a clean spoon. All right. <gasps> You guys, look how beautiful that is. And then now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the rest of this graham cracker. I'm gonna, just gonna add a little bit of graham cracker. Just a little bit, because it's delicious like that. But okay. So we wanna hurry up and get this in the freezer. So we're working with time, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with the graham cracker crust. <gasps> get a little bit, bit crunchies. That is so pretty. She is so excited and just top it off and spread that around. And we're gonna put some foil on it. Some saran wrap, then foil, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. Look how beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, ready to go in the freezer. All right, you ready? All right, you all, so let's try the ice cream. That's the way it looks right now. And we're gonna go in with the Pioneer Woman Scooper. And this is nice and soft. Ooh. That's one scoop. You want two scoops, Josh? Okay, nice firm. This is a nice softer. So you're gonna see a more firmer scoop. This is later on in the evening. You all, look how beautiful that is. Oh, let's taste it. I'm so excited. All right, you all, so you know I told you, look at that, it's a nice firm, but it's just enough. If I wanted this to go longer, I can wait until tomorrow. But I'm going to give it a try. We got some graham cracker there. Let's see if we can find a blueberry. There is a blueberry. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. So I'm going in. Wow. Everybody's getting their own scoop. Go ahead, Mom. Now this is done, Joshua, with only a half of cream cheese. Can you tell the difference? The other one was a little bit more thicker where it did go longer. But this is half of a cream cheese. You guys, this is amazing and you must try. All right, Joshua, I can give you another scoop. So that's what it looks like. Bon appetit. All right, Ooh, exciting. Let's start. We have our Pioneer Woman Scooper. Mm. <gasps> mm. Ah, ah, that looks so good. Okay, mommy, that's yours. Matter of fact, oh, while I'm watching, 
<laughs> they're eating ice cream too i didn't realize that mm. okay i'm going to scoop one out for me ladies and gentlemen mm. that for me so delicious mm. that just like that is it good mom oh my goodness a Here's nice it. after lunch treat okay <gasps> Ma, you gotta say ooh ah ooh ah. <laughs> you guys, look how beautiful it is. I'm so excited about it. <gasps> look how beautiful the texture is. It came out wonderful. So let me taste it. So creamy, you guys. Look mm -hmm. at the creaminess. Mmm. Mmm. That is wonderful. Absolutely amazing. And all we need is one scoop right now. <laughs> Mmm. That mommy said. <laughs> uh, mm. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. It is absolutely amazing. Very good recipe. Mm -hmm. Just sweet enough, I think. Mm -hmm. You think, mommy? Mm -hmm. You guys must make this recipe. I tell you, the graham crackers are so good. <laughs> they are. In this. And it turned out so thank you so much you all be blessed take care of one another love one another remember always trust god keep him first and he'll always lead you in the right direction bon appetit bye bye